This is your top Korean entertainment news that you might have missed. Let's kick off the news with an incredible achievement from one of BTS's most beloved songs, Spring Day, and some exciting updates from J-Hope. Spring Day has made history by maintaining its position on the Melon Top 100 daily chart for an impressive seven consecutive years since its release on February 13, 2017. Despite the overwhelming number of new music releases last year, over 600,000, the enduring popularity of Spring Day after seven years is truly remarkable. According to Big Hit Music, Spring Day has been streamed a remarkable 969.3 million times, making it the most streamed song on Melon. Currently, all BTS members are fulfilling their military service, with plans to reunite in 2025. Despite their absence, they continue to delight fans with pre-planned content releases. The latest announcement comes from J-Hope, who revealed the upcoming release of his documentary and OST album in March. On February 18th, Big Hit Music surprised fans with a teaser for Hope on the Street. The documentary will follow J-Hope, as he travels around the world, dancing on streets and connecting with other passionate dancers. As a skilled dancer himself, J-Hope embarked on this journey to explore the universal love for dance in various cities. Excitingly, the documentary will also feature its own OST album, reportedly containing six songs. Who's excited for this release? Another remarkable achievement comes from one of the final projects of the late Lee Soon Kyun, as his film Sleep won the top award at the Gerard Mare International Fantastic Film Festival. Best known for his role in Parasite, Lee Soon Kyun portrays a husband with a disturbing sleeping habit in sleep, which causes his wife, portrayed by actress Jung Yumi, to endure sleepless nights, fearing for their newborn's safety. The movie garnered positive reviews from critics and was even selected for the Critics Week section at the 76th Cannes International Film Festival in 2023. Furthermore, Lee was posthumously honored by the Austin Film Critics Association, an American film association, with a special award as a tribute to his career, mentioning his notable films such as Parasite, Sleep, and the yet-to-be-released Project Silence. The awards presented by the Austin Film Critics Association carry considerable influence within the industry as they are regarded as one of the indicators that can predict the winners of the upcoming Academy Awards. Now, speaking of prestigious award, do you think this could happen? In a recent online article titled The Best Bets for Best New Artist at the 2025 Grammys, published by US local media outlet Uproxx, Rise was highlighted as one of the 10 promising artists expected to be nominated for Best New Artist at the 2025 Grammy Awards. What's interesting is that Rise is the only K-pop artist mentioned in the article. The article pointed out the surprising absence of K-pop artists among the nominees at the 2024 Grammy Awards, despite K-pop's significant influence on popular culture. Rise is the hottest rookie in K-pop. The Grammy Awards will soon reflect global opinion, and we consider Rise an artist to watch. Expect big things, remarked the media outlet. Notably, in less than a year since their debut, Rise has achieved over 100 million streams on Spotify for their entire collection of songs. This impressive milestone includes tracks like Get a Guitar, Memories, Talk Saxy, and Love 119. Their debut track, Get a Guitar, has already surpassed 40 million streams, while Love 119 reached 10 million streams in less than a month, solidifying their position as a rising star in the music industry. Now, do you think this one is suspicious? TWS is another monster rookie that people have been talking about recently. As the sibling group of Seventeen, they debuted on January 22nd with Plot Twist. The song quickly gained traction on the charts. Too quick that it sparked suspicions of chart manipulation. The practice of chart manipulation, known as sajegi, often involves agencies bulk buying albums or streams to artificially boost an artist's chart rankings. Despite debuting at number 268 on Melon, Plot Twist skyrocketed to number 3 on Melon Top 100 by February 14th surpassing hits like Love 119 by Rise and Perfect Night by La Seraphim. Even more surprising, it dethroned IU's Love Wins All on the Bugs music chart, breaking IU's perfect all-kill streak of 336 hours. Love Wins All is currently ranked as the fifth highest perfect all-kill song in history. To achieve a perfect all-kill, a song must reach number one on all nine major music charts in South Korea, making it a rare accomplishment and a proof of how strong that song in the chart is. So when a rookie group, who just debuted not even a month ago, broke a perfect all-kill song streak, 
it instantly raised some questions. TWS also briefly claimed the number one spot on Melon's Hot 100 chart. Achieving chart-topping success on platforms like Melon in Korea is notoriously difficult, especially for newcomers. People also noted how despite their success, TWS's recognition in Korea remains limited. Some netizens suggested that for TWS to achieve this level of success, they need to go viral like New Jeans with their hit Hype Boy, prompting skeptical remarks like, They beat IU? For real? The rankings increased even over the holiday. LOL, must be our national group. Despite the suspicions, Pledis has yet to address these allegations. Korean drama fans, brace your heart and get ready to bid farewell to the charming Na In Woo, who portrays Yu Ji Hyuk in Marry My Husband, as he prepares to enlist in the military soon. In Woo has been captivating audiences as the head of the UNK food marketing department in Marry My Husband, where he passionately supports Kang Ji Won, played by Park Min Young, in her quest for revenge. Viewers adore their romantic chemistry. This drama has gained immense popularity both in South Korea and around the world. On February 15th, In Woo requested a delay to his enlistment date to enjoy a vacation with the cast of Marry My Husband. This all-expense-paid vacation is reportedly a gift from TVN to celebrate the cast's success. His label further confirmed by saying, We're hopeful he can join the vacation after receiving permission from the Military Manpower Administration. This news quickly spread, causing panic among his fans, who were unaware of the actor's impending military service. Many expressed shock and devastation at the announcement. Best wishes to Na In Woo for a safe and fulfilling time in the military, and we eagerly anticipate his return with greater projects in the future. Now, do you think this is true? Chinese Taemin and dancer Noze have recently become the talk of various online communities due to a viral post alleging that they are dating. Noze has collaborated with Taemin as his backup dancer, notably performing with him in Guilty and participating in various SM Entertainment artists' performances. She gained significant attention when she went viral as Kai's super pretty backup dancer and for her notable appearance in Street Woman Fighter. On February 14th, a post went viral when a fan shared alleged evidence of the couple. The fan pointed out instances where Taemin and Noze appeared to be in the same location. In a selfie where Noze is seen in her pajama, the netizen noticed that her background wall had the same texture as the wall seen in Taemin's selfie. Additionally, the post highlighted how Taemin and Noze often updated their social media accounts around the same time. Fans found it suspicious as Taemin rarely used social media but seemed to post whenever Noze did. The fan further alleged that a New Year's sunrise photo shared by Noze was taken at Taemin's home, pointing out identical elements in the background such as the curves of the mountain range and the leaves of a tree. They also mentioned matching clothing, shared black emoticons, and even claimed to have observed affectionate glances exchanged between the two or coincidental seating arrangements where Noze sat exactly behind Taemin at a sports game. These allegations sparked a divided response among Korean netizens. While some believe they might be dating and express support for the potential couple, others dismiss the claims as insufficient and label the fan as delusional. Immerse yourself in the world of Korean content. Join us as we delve into the unbelievable story of how this idol was stalked for 20 years and lived in constant worry, or watch these videos of Korean content you've missed. Subscribe now and don't let these fascinating stories pass you by.